into my usual video blog the rant but I said no do you know what if you watch that you're probably aware that everything I say in that is not to be taken too seriously but there's some serious points but like I say everything I say is not to be taken too seriously but this is what I got to say right now 100% serious so Radko Komadilic has been arrested at last wow they found him they didn't know where he was even though he was on some street and people saw him every day. But anyway, there's probably certain people wondering why am I even making this video blog? And obviously, you people don't actually know anything about me if you ask that question. If you're asking that question, clearly, you're not a follower. And that's cool. But I'll just let you know now anyway. So if you know about me, there's one thing you should know about me. And do you know what that is? Sarajevo! Sarajevo is my city. That's how when people get arrested and they have to go on trail to the to the Hague, they get sick. He's sick. Oh, you're, you're oh man, you're sick. Can you believe that? Body makurat brat. Pichku. His son has come out and said that my father is too sick to go on trial. Well, I got one thing to say to you, my friend. Merzku pichku matenu. Nobody gives a shit. Man, how is he sick? How, how, how do all these tyrants become sick the moment that they have to go on trial? Throw him in trial. If it was up to me, man, there'd be no trial, man. I'd just throw him in a dungeon and let him rot. Yeah, because nobody cares about that shit, man. I know I'm going to get probably several emails, haters' emails from, you know, you numbskulls who actually support this guy. And that's cool. That's all right, man. I don't really give a shit. Like, you can email me and tell me that, um... Whatever, you're probably going to use racial slurs, I guess, as well. That's the, the best, that's the, like, you know, low blow. Go for the low blow. Go for it, man. Go for them low blows. It's all good. Just know this, though. Just know this. You're an imbecile if you do that. You actually, you have no working brain cells in your brain if you actually do that. Because you're brainwashed with bullshit. What you need to do is probably go to the chemists and... Buy some laxatives, because you're full of shit, basically. That's what it comes... I'm not even going to get technical with you. I'm just going to be real. You are full of shit if you do that. Because you've got to be an idiot if you support the actions of idiots, obviously. <laughs> That's just common sense. Like, and if you can't understand that, then it makes you an idiot. In fact, you're a bigger idiot than the person you're supporting. If you follow an idiot... What does that make you? It's like le less than an idiot. Like imbecile isn't even a word that can be used for you. Your your brain capacity is either just really small or you're you're possibly just I don't know, man. I, w I wouldn't even want to say brain damaged because that's an insult to people who are actually brain damaged. It amazes me how how a dude like this can turn around and say he's not a criminal. How can you turn around and say you're not a criminal? That's <laughs> number. Yes, no. the, the dude's talking about all right, he's innocent or he's not he's not a war criminal if you're not a war criminal if you're innocent you're an innocent man you're saying you're an innocent man right why did you change your name for like what kind of that's not the actions of an innocent man like you're an enemy of the state okay there are some people who are enemy of the state wrongfully all right that and that is true but to be honest with you if you're in this is an extreme situation if you're in such an extreme situation as a war crimes right and you're saying that you're innocent then clearly if you he said he did not. He didn't carry out the, these attacks. He, he's not responsible for them. If you're okay, if you are, if you're not hands, your hands went on that. You got no blood in your hands. Yeah? If you literally you're saying you're innocent, you have no blood in your hands. Then there's not going to be evidence against you. Go to court. Why are you hiding? Why are you changing the name? That ain't the actions of an innocent man. You're talking shit. You're full of it, man. That ain't the actions of an innocent man. Because there's some, there's some people who've come out, some certain war criminals who've come out, yeah, and they said that they don't know what genocide is. How can I be convicted of something that I don't know what it is? Okay, so let me explain something to you. So there's some people who don't actually know that the term genocide actually came about because of the Bosnian War. 
Like you may not, you might be so oh, I'm talking shit. Do it, do your history. You don't have to believe me. Don't take my word for it. I'm not asking you to take my word for it. I'm just telling you that the word genocide came about because of this, the Bosnian War. He doesn't know what genocide is. It's like you don't know what genocide is. Let me explain something for you. What happened in, in the siege of Sarajevo is that was genocide. Like that was pure genocide. Then let's let's get one thing clear. Because there hasn't been, a, uh, there hasn't been a mass killing like that in, in such a short space of time. That's never happened. I, not in, in modern times. In modern times, that has never, there, there hasn't been anything a mass killing in that short period of time like that in, in, the, in the modern, in our generation. That ain't happened apart from this, and that's where the term genocide came from. Do your Man, Google this man, you can look how old, go in the dictionary, look at when the word genocide entered the English dictionary and you will see it correlates with the end of the Bosnian War. That's around the time the word genocide enters the English dictionary because the term was put together, it came about because of the situation. So don't talk, talk to me that you don't know what genocide is. How do you not know what genocide is? You fucking invented it. You invented the whole concept of genocide. There wasn't such a thing as genocide before the Bosnian War. There wasn't such a thing as genocide. So what the hell are you talking about? Until the war, you guys did what you did and you created this ideology of what genocide is. People couldn't even think of what genocide was before that. I don't even... Man... You're giving... You're, you're like... Hitler's got nothing on you, man. Nah, man. You guys are... Um, you're monsters, man. That's what... You're not even human beings. And that's why, if, like I said, if it was down to me, there'd be no trial. You get thrown in a dungeon and you will le le be left there to rot. And that's it. I, I wouldn't even... Like, some people are like, yeah, they should just kill the guy. Do you know what? You can't kill the guy. Because that's an easy way out. If you kill the guy, he don't suffer, man. He's just dead. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he should just be killed. Not because of his family. I don't give a fuck about his family. Like, your dad's a dick, basically. So I don't give a fuck. But he shouldn't be killed. He should just be put in a hole somewhere. Like with a little... Put in a box. You know what they should do? Put him in a box. Bury the dude alive. That's what I would do. Kill him slowly. Sorry, man. I got no love for you, man. But Adko Magdalic is a disgusting animal. Yeah, so like I say, if you're your support, if you're your support of this guy, sram to bilo, sram to bilo. What are you doing, man? This is, uh, reading papers and man, fuck all of that, man. Just get on with it. Lock the guy up. Put him in prison. What? You don't need no evidence, man. The evidence is all around. It's all around the country. It's all around the the, the region. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what's the problem here, man? I don't understand. What is gathering evidence? Like, you know what happened. That's it. How, how much evidence? There's dead bodies and there's graves. How much? There's, there's videos on YouTube, man. There's videos on the net of them celebrating. They might as well be celebrating. It's like, boldly talking about, yeah, but we're now going to invade this place. How is that not evidence? What are you talking about, man? Fix up. Fix up, man. Fix this whole thing up, man. Fix up and come proper, man. That's what I gotta say. I'm getting annoyed. I'm actually getting annoyed, so I actually don't wanna talk about this no more, to be honest with you. I might just end this right here. Yeah, fuck it. Sarajevo! Krademo!